guys. Today I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the rust that is on the muffler. As you can see, it is pretty bad down here. So let's go ahead and remove as much rust as we can and clean it up and paint it with the paint that I'm going to be using. So here's a couple of products I use to do this job. First is your primer and your paint. Both are for high uh, temperature applications. I also have an accessor here to apply my paint. I actually use this, but it's a lot easier for me, uh, what, but whatever works for you. I also have some sandpaper, 50, 100, 80 grit, and of course some, clean supplies, some cleaning supplies for preparation before painting. I have isopropyl 50%, you can use 70, and of course some wax and tar grease remover. And one of these abrasive uh, heads. And of course, you want to keep safe. You may also want to use one of these because depending on how bad that rust is, you may want to get one of these metal heads. All right, so I already prepped it for painting. I cleaned it. I used isopropyl alcohol, 50%, and a little bit of wax and grease remover. Yes, I also removed the rust, of course, as best as I could. Uh, in here, in these areas right here, there was some rust. Areas right here. I sand this off with uh, 100 grid, 80 grid. I also use the drill machine with the with the attachment. Okay, it's on the bottom. Okay, so this is ready to go. Now I did remove the the bumper cover so I can have more access to the muffler. Uh, you may not want to do that, but it's best, and I totally recommend it because there's no way you can have access to, like the top part over here, uh, the muffler. So, uh, well, you know, it's you make the call, but I decided to remove it. If you can't remove it, then you should mask it and find a way you can go ahead and paint it. Okay, there it is. There's a prepping. There's a masking. Okay, that's all I need. I don't need anything else. I don't need to mask it any more than this. Okay, let me show you what I've done in the bottom. Make sure the paper or the, not paper, I mean the plastic bag here doesn't touch the areas where you're going to be painting. So any way you mask this, whether you're using paper or plastic, I use one of these old plastic bags I had lying around as you can see. Let's go ahead and start painting. A quick reminder, make sure you use a mask, okay? This stuff really smelly and it's, it can really harm you, okay? A tip of the day here. Uh, you can use a paint thinner, acetone, stuff like that to clean your nozzle. This stuff gets clogged after every use, especially these primer paints because, you know, they're thick. Let's take a look and see what happens after the primer. Okay, it doesn't look like a regular gray. It's kind of like a bluish tone. Interesting. So, I paint it as trying to get all the areas, right? As you can see, I didn't paint all the way down there. Doesn't matter. Just these areas where I thought I had a lot of rust. So, there you have it. That's pretty good, huh? Anyways, I'll let this dry, and then I'll shoot the other stuff. All right, let's look at the finished product now. 